Crown Records. So. Okay, um, just a little introduction here. I am, of course, Zynek. I play Faust, and I travel to a lot of tournaments. Well, as much as I can, anyway. Um, before I show any match footage, I just want to like preface this with the fact uh, how I actually look at matches, how I analyze them, um, how I decide to change certain things about my gameplay later, based on what I see. Um, yeah. And the most important thing I want to sh point out is that I uh, focus on momentum as my primary um, point of um, fixing my strategy, which basically means um, taking control of the mat match when I have opportunities and creating those opportunities um, through defense uh, and offense and you know general neutral play. Okay, so um, the first thing I'm gonna show here is actually not the um, oldest match from this weekend, but uh, it's my first top eight match against Hamad. He plays Kai, uh, he's from Texas. Okay, and I'll just pause it when I see things, critical points. Okay, there I started basically uh, in the scramble to jump 2k. If he's not anti-airing, it's pretty good. Um, uh, but it's, it's a little bit of risk because Kai's uh, too heavy down heavy um, leads to a full air combo and he could potentially get a knockdown with stun dipper so, you know, like so I'd be the, the generally I'd be less careful from using it. and there I use the uh, jump 2k with faint um, to get a command throw you have to delay a little bit because wake up has uh, throw involved but it's pretty good mix up and I think for the rest of this match I basically press my advantage and I end up taking it so spoilers There's Blub. Uh, I already see there because I wanted to get him to the corner and to continue my advantage. Um, I could have done a more reliable mix up mid screen and saved my meter, but I w couldn't have cinched the win as easily. So, yeah. Okay, I dropped. I was too low to do the uh, follow up jump to the ground. And for some reason, I put myself back mid screen here. I should have stayed within 2h in far slash range. I'm um, not sure why I backed up there. And yeah, I think that's generally a mistake. Okay, the blitz there. Yeah, I don't know what that's about. <laughs> Just. General nerves and trying to react to something when I really shouldn't have. Okay, got the counter at 2H for our slash to close it out. Um, I didn't yeah, actually combo. I could have got Pogo and taken it. 2B sword is generally good. Okay, push the middle again, but then I back up. I'm not sure why I did this here. Um, again, I should have stayed on him. Um, let me go back a little bit. See, so, yeah. So instead of backing up, I should have moved forward. And I actually could have counter hit them, him there if I did far slash or 2H. Uh, this is something to note to like press the advantage when you have the opportunity. And this was a great opportunity. He was in the corner and he wasn't moving forward. He just caught my anti there. there. I tried to walk under the charge stun edge, which wasn't great in that range because as you see, he could just sweep me. I had a counter here because I was pressing something because I had realized that and it was actually probably too late. Oh, it would have been safer to switch the blocking. Oh, Hamad sees that. Then that is one thing Him in the corner now. That jump 2k, I, f I jumped and I thought I could jump um, recover by the time the bomb went off, but there is four frames of the landing recovery on jump 2k, so uh, I just caught caught. Well, that was pretty bad. Uh, um, mini mat. Yeah, I'll be pulling your match, mini mat. Uh, I can do that next, actually. Um, well, 
I want to do in the format where I like match, swap out matches won and lost. So I'll do yours third, actually. Okay. Um. Okay, here we go. That <laughs> Pogo was just kind of a hell mary. I did have RC to make it safe, but he, if he had uh, done Stun Dipper, he would have went under it. And even if I had PRC, I probably would have get caught during startup. So it was for that situation. I think it was too risky. And I did a lot of this stuff. Um, this thing's improve on. I did a lot of these uh, kind of like more risky committal things here. Like there's no reason for me to do this here. Look, I had far slash. I could have RC'd and got a full combo and corner carried him. It's just awareness of the situation wasn't. I wasn't very aware of the situation. I, it's kind of like lost focus. I, there was plenty of time to confirm the hit. I'm not, I'm not too happy about that. Um, I guess because the jump, I'm not used to jump to jump K landing into far slash actually being a combo. <laughs> That's probably actually what happened. It's only because of the counter hit. So yeah, something to be aware of. If, if I'm going to do something far, so. Tech jump K is generally good for catching people trying to punish your recovery because it's seven frames, I think. Um, and you have eight frames in vulnerability. Um, let me see real quick. So that's generally why I use it. Yeah, seven frames. And of course, the long range makes it pretty good for um, tech buttons at a distance. Something to always be aware of. Could have been anti aired. Um, my low profile moves. It could have caught me during active frames later. Or vulnerable frames later. Yeah, I'm not too happy about that. It did work out though. Okay. Look, I'm out of meter there. It could have been very bad jumping. But just, I was lucky enough to have uh, enough meter here to make it safe against anti air. The NTR attempt, the 2H attempt. He could have taken my life there. If I had FD broke there, and he was a little earlier, he could have counter hit me. Uh, there still is startup during that, so something to be aware of too. Like when you go to the air, you're always putting yourself a pretty big risk as fast. But luckily, I didn't FD break, so. Okay. Okay, so this match mod ends up taking, and again, I don't think I press my advantage enough. Uh, so many way, way too much when I don't need to. And super high, so the super high jump drill is not great. Like, even if I had, uh, let me pull it back again. So I'm going to frame step here. So this, this height, it only became safe-ish. Because bomb had gone off. If a mod had like committed to a DP, he would have caught me. Um, I don't. I think the heavy DP has enough invul. And the, if I didn't have meter, like if he had not landed and recovered, um, if he was still in the air, for example, he would probably still been in block stun. S since he landed, I was able to do jump 2k going my way, and I was able to wire C the startup to go my way. Very strange. It's like something I might actually reuse. <laughs> now I'm thinking about it, I might actually use again in the future. Um, and made it safe against the anti air 6p attempt. And because I did the jump 2k again, my hurt box um, got pushed up high. So it's high profile. So you can see it's just, it's just too high for him to hit me. So I catch the recovery. It definitely wasn't intentional. Um, it was just an awareness of the situation that let me um, commit to going my way in YRC. Even though it would have, more than likely, you can just OS that situation, right? Um, but I wouldn't, re I wouldn't recommend depending on it. Okay. Just looking at the wrong flow here. YRC, run up 6P, and it can work. I'm not, happy. I'm not like, thrilled about it. Yeah, especially in this situation where, like, and at neutral here, he's jumping at me. I had an opportunity to run up and 5k him. Unless he backdashed, it would have caught him. But he was chicken blocking, and I guess he kept blocking because he saw the YRC and wasn't sure what was going to happen. Um, yeah, that's 
for how that goes. And I got no Pogo, and I... This is, like, the worst, actually. Um, I just kept doing the 6P because I thought he would try something, like, DP, but he was just waiting because he probably knows that once you get off of uh, Pogo, there's enough time to use Stun Giver. Um, I, it's probably been better for me to commit to going my way. Um... Or Dr. Copter to get away because even if I was hit in the air, unless he ran and DP'd me, he wouldn't have got a knockdown. Um, so, I guess he could have done Breed Saber. Um, but that's a little risky compared to this. This is actually a very safe option to wait and see uh, um, for the Octopus, though. It's very low risk. So, that was the better thing for me to do. And I got first support in the loss, of course. And just going back, I'm going to go back to this. We're playing on Pogo. Where is this? I think it's over here. He's after the wire. See, I did 6P Pogo. And generally, like, I don't do that. I usually do 6P item. Which is, so it's not, it's punishable, but you kind of have to commit to it. And players do get caught by going on, um, sorry, Pogo. I, I don't know. I wasn't too happy. I was again, I didn't throw has counter hit in recovery. Um, hold on, real quick. Mm, I th yeah, I think it's. I thought it was counter hit full recovery. Uh, anyway, this is Amy Kirby. Yeah, this. So, just going to air way too much here, just to point out. Um, I have an advantage staying on the ground, I think. And, like, really? He's doing 6P here? I guess my jump 2K, and I'm not, ha I'm not a big fan of that as Kai player. I mean, as Kai players really shouldn't do this kind of thing. Where Faust is jumping. Because I, I definitely can FD break and delay my jump 2K pretty easily. He's just, he's just aiming for me? He should have been 2H. 2H would have been the safer option. I think it's actually... I don't know if it's lower profile, but the reward is way higher. And the worst thing that could happen is you get hit right and you end up getting hit. Yeah, this, just for the record, anti-air Faust was 2H, not 6P. <laughs> 6P is more situational. Yeah, okay, this again. So, Ahmad was trying to make reads against me, and uh, he's, you can see he started doing Stun Dipper before he could actually react to it. Uh, that's the thing you always can do against Faust if you think pull, uh, pull is coming. Um, yeah, you can see that. I don't know how many frames is it. I can count it, actually. Air to air, he's giving me air to air too. That's another thing, though. Actually, I just noticed that. So. Where did I go back too far? I don't remember. Okay. okay, I'm in the air. Go to air again. Trying to catch him with jump P. I don't even know why I did this because. So, okay, yeah, actually, this is something I do a lot. Where I jump, I do jump P in the air in case they do a rising attack to cover cover myself for my jump in um, but he he pre-committed to the jump K before I jumped so he caught me and also the range on jump K is farther than my jump P yeah so that's where he got me <laughs> this is a small detail and it actually led to a full combo it wouldn't get the knockdown though yeah that again that situation with the uh, far slash pull fishing rod whatever you want to call it um, okay, so I get pushed to the corner. Actually, how did that end up happening? This is important. So I'm going to go back to it. Okay. So jump beats me here. Not a knockdown. Not, I, I'm an advantage here generally, but I commit to something that ends my advantage, which is uh, 
on the pull. The thing is, like, if I if I enter pressure into pull anyway, even if he blocks it, it's not enough frame advantage to, for it to give me any. It's not really enough frame advantage for me to get anything started. And also, um, actually pull. What is pull? Unblock. It's not. It's only safe because of the distance. Um. Yeah, it's negative eleven. So generally, it's safe because of the distance, but it doesn't lead to me having any kind of real advantage. Other than uh, getting an item throw, maybe. So generally, if I'm just ending everything in pull, that's not great because the opponent can just watch for that and then press their advantage, right? So it gives them a time to move forward. In this case, he made the read and got stunned. Deeper. Sorry for focusing on it too long, but it's important because it's what lost me. Uh, it meant I lost my offensive advantage, right? Here, actually, I do get the burst, but yeah, he used meter. To get in. So he knocked an air. What I probably should have done, instead of throwing an item there, because this happens a lot, this is actually a very common situation. Um, I got out with the burst, but people do tech and air dash at Faust, and that is not actually great. Something you should just keep in mind, instead of like throwing an item here. Because again, he wire sees. So in general, I would have been safe, but he wire C. And um, I could have just blocked, right? Actually, I did block. Okay, sorry. I jump blocked. I could have ground blocked. Um, but I could have had an advantage here, right? Because of the because of the um, instead of throwing item, which has a lot of startup, I could have ran forward. Impressed my advantage, right? So those kind of just like those points ultimately determine the match, right? Because he ended up pushing to the corner. So those twice there I had the offensive advantage and then I just drop it. It sucks. And when I mentioned before, an analyze matches from the point of view of um, who controls momentum. And that's one of those critical points where I lost it. And this, okay. Yeah, Hamad. I mean, like, Hamad, this was, uh, I'm not sure what he's actually thinking here. He's making a hard read there, like, maybe, because 2P is, has frame advantage, it's plus, uh, plus uh, one, I want to say, um, yeah, it's plus one, and he didn't even insta-block, so. I guess a slight delay anything would have gotten caught by that super cell. Okay. I'll go back to my last match with him. Sorry, this is. I'm going very slowly through these, just to point out the places where um, I end up losing the match or taking control. Okay. Yeah, it's just a call out on me because he was stun dipper in a I had the feeling he was going to stun dipper to get out. Um, with the situation, because uh, generally you'll see me do a lot of far slash, but I just told it instead. Instead, different will get under far slash. Again, that's like the space where Faust would generally get a far slash. Um, and Pogo has will go over stun different in that case. I don't know if during the startup it won't, but. Because of the distance, I was able to catch him. So, if, as Faust player, it's something to keep in mind. Um, starting Pogo is not necessarily bad. Yeah. So, using Pogo like this to counter Stun Dipper or any other like low profile moving forward moves is not necessarily bad. Even though, obviously, getting out Pogo is bad. Um, it's just that it was a hard read, and it's important to know that was a risk that I took. Um, knowing that far slash would have got me knocked down and potentially hit by the bomb because it does have an extended hurt box. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, and here I had to commit to blocking or air throwing. This is not at that distance when they tech from like going my way. Um, like there's nothing I can do there other than throw and block. I guess you could blitz. You could commit to it. To a high blitz, but I didn't have the meter for it anyway. So. Maybe I ended up did getting the meter, but 
Either way, it's pretty, pretty risky. Okay. okay. That time he got me with a 6P because of the, the height. That was at. I was doing the jump P thing again. The um, preemptive jump P to catch him jumping. And I, I fell down with a something or another. I usually jump P, jump K. I might have been jump P, jump P. Let's see. So jump P again. Yeah, jump P again. Yeah. You can anti air that. Okay. So I'm trying to move it in here again. I'm going through the air. I just wanted to. So what I was thinking here is I wanted him to block bomb bag. So he couldn't put out another. Uh, another seal. He's just got back. Yeah, just look at this. Like, it shouldn't be jumping that much. I'm not really stopping his approach that well with it. Um, look at this. He's going to the air. I should stay on the ground. Yeah. I just got lucky. The lucky counter. Two, 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 two. Again, he's losing bomb bag. He's losing. Actually, I win this match, strangely enough. Okay. I think this is like showing some matchup advantages Valve has, even though I'm making some of these. I don't know, I mean, in my opinion, pretty critical mistakes. Uh, see, I'm just, oh, yeah, the jumping. Just look at it, like, why am I still on the ground? It's a combination of, I think, tunnel vision. And not wanting to block stun edge. Because no. generally, if he does like jump stun edge, I can run under it, uh, the, the far version. So there, he could have moved forward, but he decided to do stun edge. Um, again, that pull on block. Right, it's like. That's negative 11. But he decides to stun edge. But he gives me the opportunity to run in. If he had just moved forward, it would be a little scary for me. I mean, it's scary for for Kai because it puts me in pretty good range, but uh, it did give me the chance to. I, he probably shouldn't stun edge there. <laughs> he did lose a little bit of momentum. I did have to preemptively run a jump though, so he could have uh, ultimately did his five frame special. He must end But I also could have FT broke, so debate it. Yeah. So I can have a 2H expecting him not to jump. I should have expected it because. Uh, Bomb is basically hot potato. So he's here, he's running, and I can mitch to the 2H before he even jumps off the ground, right? But fortunately for him, it's not in range in time. So he's able to jump. I don't think it's a super bad choice. Um, I just went a little earlier. After this. I was trying to react to him running instead of just committing to it. Uh, and I maybe I should move forward a little bit more there. But in, in, at that time, it's not a lot of time, time to think about that stuff, so sometimes you just go on feeling and it's not always the best thing. But he jumps back, he doesn't press his advantage. And I get out. So, top two by the air to air again. Spending too much time in the air. Using too much far splashes, which you need to be careful about. Went for help, Mary, <laughs> Mary teleport. And I ended up losing the match. So, again, there's just like too many places where I gave up advantage. I'll give it a little bit more time. 
<laughs> Try to be a little more concrete and uh, point out the more critical points where uh, no momentum shifted. Okay, here. Fortunately, I threw an eye, uh, candy and decided to run in to just force him back, which I did. I do jump 2k and he just. I guess he saw me doing it too much. He saw me jumping forward a lot in these situations, I guess. And decided to hit me in the air, which is actually a pretty good thing to do. Um, I see, I don't see a lot of enough Americans actually doing this, but I did see a lot in Japan. Like jump K to jump 2 from characters. Um, to catch, to stop me from doing this, actually. Because uh, I did that a lot in Japan and just forgot. <laughs> So here I got an item, I ran far slash it, ran up, tried to jump 2k. Uh, if he wasn't jumping a lot earlier, this would have been better, but he was jumping a lot at me, and it wasn't really the right choice at that time. If I was more aware of his general behavior in these situations, I would have not done this, but eh. Uh, I'll think more about it next time. <laughs> Go back to going the next match. Okay, final one. I'm gonna take a short break. And I'll get on to mini mats match actually. So yeah, this this happened. <laughs> so again, I'm gonna start here. It's, it's kind of hard to point out all the places where I gave up my um, advantage. Yeah, I do jump P this again, as you can see, when I'm at this, when I'm at this range. I did it again, actually. And I, I didn't Watching this the first time, I didn't realize how much I did this. Um, but this time, instead of doing like a preemptive run jump P, I just did a neutral jump forward P. It does a combo, actually, because he was crouching. Oh, no, actually, I guess 2H... Yeah, 2H uh, puts him in crouching hit stun, so. He could have probably done another 2H and hit me. Ooh, that's bad. Pogo there. I hope he's able to make it somewhat safe. He could have, he could have repeated that same scenario where he did uh, a stun dipper, and it may have hit me out of YRC. But I guess, I don't know, because he was waiting for me to do it another time, he didn't commit too early, so. Yeah, it worked out for me. And I just ran at him, and I didn't FD break at all. Even, like, I don't even know why I didn't FD break, because no matter what I did there, I actually did FD broke earlier. No matter what I did there, I was going to get hit by the bomb. I think I tried to empty here. Run forward. Bomb. Probably try to anti air. With a 5k. That's what I think it is. A oh, 2k. Okay, I did 2k. So, yeah, I think I thought I was going to 2k and jump cancel, but just startups too long. And he caught me with a falling heavy slash. Oh, Worked out for I'm dropping a bomb bag on charge stun edge. Not, not the best thing. Tech jump P worked out for me. For the invulnerability on Vortech. Mistake. That was a flub. 5k. He wasn't mashing, so. I didn't get hit. I reacted with a, to his jump with 2k. Uh, I traded with his following heavy slash again. It's not that important, so I just spread it out. Okay. I, did, I did bomb bag in case he ran forward. Um, this kind of resets the situation. If I want to play it more safe, it kind of resets the situation. Um, he puts out the seal and runs forward a lot. should have been more aware of that. And again, press the advantage when I could have. Oh, the drop! So this is... Uh, 
another case where I did jump 2k really high. Um, I thought I was going to jump 2k bomb bag. Why don't see? Because he was jumping at me a lot, and I just wanted to jump 2k higher. Uh, I just got kind of, I was lucky here that I had meter. This wasn't really my plan. I wasn't planning to do jump 2k going much. Jump 2k, YRC, falling dust, going my way. I just had enough time to realize that he wasn't doing anything. And I, I knew if I did jump 2k low enough, I could get safely get going my way and land. And I didn't talk about this a lot earlier, but Ahmad was doing a lot. He was making a lot of hard reads against me. And I didn't directly... <laughs> I didn't try to bait, bait this out to be able to uh, the overdrive, but I was trying to bait out any wake up action, uh, any kind of like super committal wake up action like a DP or something. Um, it just worked out. Okay, so that's what happened. Uh, I'm going to do mini mats match in like three minutes, so give me a second here. Um, I'll be right back. Okay, uh, I am back. I am going to talk about uh, the match with Mini Matt. This was a mm, top 16 losers. Um, so I was, after having lost Nakio, I kind of wanted to. Um, I was wanted to play a little more careful because um, Nakio's playstyle is definitely um, to look for opportunities for him to get hard reads and high damage. So yeah, um, my general strategy though against Elfveld is, um, if I'm just like, I guess I could start from talking about spacing. Uh, I don't want to zone Elfveld necessarily. Some characters you can do until you can move in, but uh, Elfveld, because of her um, rifle, and as you saw last year, can keep Faust out pretty easily and get knockdowns. And can get a lot of meter. And Alpha doesn't lose meter. Or, well, he doesn't lose tension pulse um, when Alpha's in rifle stance. So I'm basically letting the character tip me away. So anytime I think the um, rifle's coming, uh, well, first of all, I want to stay outside of the range where I can't poker if I see a rifle. Um, and if I'm outside the range, I want to be super aware and super jump and get out of there in time so that I could potentially drop a bomb bag on her and get a full combo or at least force the character to switch out of uh, rifle stance okay and general things I'm looking for too is like far slash into too heavy from Elfelt which you can actually dust through if you well, you can do it if you block as well it's just a little more tough if you if you don't instant guard um, and the other big thing is if you get stuck in the corner against um, shotgun stance I you look for when she's going to command throw 
Um, and generally that's, yeah, like if you think it's close to the command throw, you can jump, or in my, my case, I end up gold bursting. Um, I just took that risk, so yeah, there it went. Um, yeah, I'm going to start this. Hold on. Uh, six eight frames is fine. It's just a lot of startup on six eight. So, yeah. Okay. Okay, this this match is actually end up being a huge scramble, which I'm surprised didn't work oh, out more. Just what I said, immediately goes to the sniper rifle. Um, so there, okay, I'm in a range spring. where he probably could <laughs> mid to. Yeah. Oh, so he spring. starts with the rifle, and I'm just like, I want to get in because I'm not gonna stay out here and get stuck in a rifle. Said, immediately <laughs> goes to the sniper rifle. And I'm at the range when I fall there, even, even because I was lucky enough not having to block the bomb bag. Uh, oh, just what you said. It immediately goes like to the sniper. Before, being in this range is great, and I was able to hit mini Matt right. because he went straight back into rifle, even though I wasn't at the range generally where it's in his favor. Oh. So I did pull there from four slash, just trying to get a lucky beginning of a set. Oh, uh, just what you said, it immediately uh, goes to the sniper rifle. Travel advantage, because this is a pretty good thing if they're pressing buttons. Especially if, right, if Elfo's trying to take out grenade. Didn't work out, and I, I basically get, gave up my space control and uh, frame advantage. Especially since he instant blocked it. I pointed out before. Um, that's just always kind of the risk you take with doing the pull. It's like, it's a high risk, high reward. Well, okay, I should say high risk, medium risk, high reward situation. Spring. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Trying to get air you just have to be aware you're giving up uh, your momentum when you do that. So it doesn't quite get it, and wow, wow! That was a good conversion. Here we go. It's a lucky blitz. Oh, the, the blitz yeah. back. Oh my! Big plays. And this was a bad Not here the best the person in the world. Yeah, huge swing here for Mini Mat. Oh, but here the we go. Throw. Mini Mat was just too close when he did this. He did so he this. He goes to the sniper rifle. Um, yeah. Okay, so the spring. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Trying to get air there doesn't quite get it, and wow, wow! That was a good conversion. Here we go. Oh, the the blitz yeah. back! Oh Big my plays! Not the best person. Yeah, so often like Elfelts will do this and do I think falling slash against you because it hits pretty low to the no. ground. But he just did it too late or something, so it didn't become active. I think that's what happened. Not the best person. Probably too much on these details like this, but. Suffice to say, he was late. Oh, actually, back. Oh, sorry. He wasn't late. I back dashed. <laughs> sorry about that. I didn't even notice. So, yeah. It was so quick. Oh, just what he said. Immediately goes to the sniper yeah. rifle. Yeah. <laughs> back. Oh, Big my. Blade. Blade. Nice blitz. Yeah, uh oh, you gotta block that. Yeah. Okay. Okay. What was that throw? Oh. Tough situation right now. So I tried back there, but he yeah. was on the ground. That wasn't a great place to back dash, actually. Oh, tries to go boost, does not get it. Okay, not the worst situation where old doesn't block 6 eights though. Yeah, you know, Zynag only needs one big hit. There it is, to try and make this in his favor. Oh, huge swing here for Minimat. Oh, but here we go. Uh, nice blitz! They really are going too to much, I guess. Blitz happened. This is such a scramble, it's really hard to analyze oh, it. That's what he said, immediately goes to the sniper oh, rifle. I... <laughs> that was great. <laughs> Trying to get air there doesn't quite get it. Wow, wow. That was a good here we go. Oh, the, the blitz yeah. back. Oh, my Big. place. Not the best person. Okay, here we go. I backdash and I get the throw. So that's something you could do because this option is backdash it. Um, if they're approaching from the air like that. Oh, but here we go. Okay, if you ask. They really are going for it. <laughs> yeah, I think like 80% okay, of the damage. Jump 2K is a common option against characters in the corner just because... Especially jump delay 2k. Uh, it will basically catch fuzzy jumping, often backdashing, um, and 
Um, this kind of like a barry mashing to uh, catch people out of their pressure. Yeah. So far. Yeah. And roll is pretty high. Okay. Oh. Tough situation. But uh, Mini Matt took a gamble on it and blitzed. I was able to get tech button. Not get it. Okay, not the worst situation. That was supposed to be close slash. I was intending to close slash here, but that was just too far. Um, I want to do six, close though. slash. Uh, close slash. Mm, jump cancel. Jump. I probably should do 2k instead. It's always a risk when you yeah, miss the really distance. This oh, close slash. Slash. This close slash would have given me okay, close slash, close to though. close slash, generally, yeah, and yeah. often clears at there this is time first. So, yeah. out. Nice oh, this situation again. Ugh, not this situation again. This, just this situation. Um, I was too high instant blocking. Uh, Elfelt's dive here, the Bridal Express, and I thought I was lower. Bridal. And you can see the distance was too far for me to throw, so I ended up getting a six heavy. And this danger time. I just let the heavy slash rock because the gap between hits is very low and probably pretty much anything you press wouldn't be able to start up in time. Um, you'd have to actually avoid the hitbox with some kind of low profile. Oh move. no! What? What? Looking for the bird. So I tried to dust here, in this case, because um, I saw the the far slash. No! And what? I was expecting the two H, um, but I what? I waited too long. You can see I waited way too long. No! What? What? Looking for the burst, I guess. And that's oh, what? Oh, weird oh, slow down oh, 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 Yes, so any low crouching move will avoid gunshot. Uh, sorry. Um, it's stand heavy. It's, just, it's like the weirdest move in the game. Elfelt has her stand heavy. Um, it doesn't matter if the hitbox overlaps, he'll always whiff crouching attacks. This is something to be aware of, so like 2H is really, really good counter to that. Oh my god. Scramble match so far. I can barely commentate. It's really again the rifle situation. Um, so when I get that get at this distance, sorry, when I get this distance, I want to move forward almost buttons. always. This is too much for me. Okay, blocks the six inches this time, but all gets hit by the scalpel. So first, I'm here. I instant, I immediately air dash because I knew if I had landed, I would have to deal with the rifle. And that's burst. not fun. Okay, gets a huge... But he had Peter. He could have started a combo if he waited a little longer. So actually, it's not. Great in that regard. Um, Wait, what? Did. He just got a reset. Uh, what is going on? Is it what? This situation is going to be a bit like reading about it. Yeah, so I thought I would be high enough after teching to avoid this entirely, but I went into bomb bag, and I guess it's extended my hitbox. Okay, mini mag gets a huge hit. Sniper RC. Tech drill. Eh. Here, but I don't. I don't like it. <laughs> I was trying to probably tech FD break. Six inches this time, but all gets hit by the scalpel burst. Burst. Okay, mini mag gets a huge hit. Sniper RC here, but wow! It, it was too high. You see, if you tech drill this high, um, I can't actually do my frame damage. Burst. Burst. Okay, do anything mini afterwards. And if I do going my way, I have to delay it a lot, uh, as you see, in order to land and not get um, punished during recovery. But wow! Yeah, and I was looking. I do far slash YC here. Like and oh looking up, I was able to like, see him doing stand heavy. Let me run into two. That's such a good option for Faust. Especially, you see this those little Faust coming. It makes it really scary, scary for the opponent to mash. Really, 
I guess me and Matt's been getting really good the better end of the stick so far, but, I mean, look, Meteor's too many fouls. And many fouls. Uh, this just could be over here. I mean, yeah, hope it's about low. Oh my god. <laughs> I should also have been aware that Minimat was doing a lot of standing heavies. <laughs> and too used uh, down heavy more. So use it here. Yeah, this item is actually a problem. Can't make another one. Did catch yeah, some points here. Should be able to kill and it does. Yeah, okay. So, oh, yeah, oh, oh, okay. One round. So much has happened there. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh that thing. Yeah. Yes, dude, such a good. I've never seen. I like to run under all the close ass a little too early. Yeah, Wait, I, okay. I really like Hold the on. way Mini Mass. This has been such a scramble match so far. I, I mean, look, Meteor is too many fouls. And many fouls. Oh, yeah, that was just the over first here. round. I mean, yeah, it's crazy. I spent a lot of time on that. Sorry. This game is too much. It took a very long time. Uh, I'm really just going over everything. It's the first time doing this, so I might be a little too detailed, a little too vague. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Wild round. That's too much. That's too much. That's it's crazy to think that that was only one round. So much that was happening there. So I start the match there just trying to create enough distance for me to potentially run in if he backed up uh, and do it like a down heavy or a far slash. But uh, Minimat followed me. Um, One round, so much else happening there. So I was able to do falling far slash, or falling slash from the air. That totally works because it gets a lot of characters who are trying to approach you, especially at that distance. Oh, get that oh, oh, barely yeah, just the tip here, knock down. If he's breaking, just to try to out something. I didn't jump to K. It's crazy to think that that was only one round. So much that was happening there. Oh, get this. Oh, barely clicks him. Yeah, just the tip here. Not There's a damage here. I don't know why I'm lifting break as much as I did. Maybe just because of the distance. Just the tip here. Not down. But yeah, so I couldn't really do anything. If I never did down heavy, it wouldn't have reached. Um. Jump 2k was not a great option there at that distance. Oh, yeah. I don't know, like Probably shouldn't even jumped at all. Yeah, I should have 2p or something. Um, it would have been a safe option. I just, I did, yeah, I did this this way too high. Jump 2k would work, but it's too like high. This is a flub. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I feel like okay. I'm losing, losing my name oh, here because of it. I think they did. Is that choice? Okay. Yeah. So burst, and I, I did get it back. I was lucky enough to get a weight. First, I like that. Um, but I didn't hit him. And I was because I threw an item. Again, okay, I talked about this earlier. Because I threw an item after a burst. Um, I didn't have enough. I see. I actually had the spacing advantage here. I could have did jump heavy. I could have done the anti air. But instead I threw an item and like hedge my bets and it didn't work out for me. I got a weight. Um, and the weight it prevents me from doing anti airs. Now if it were a hammer, yeah, that'd be awesome, but that's a very low chance, so. First, I like that. Oh, that's gonna hurt. To okay. I could have dust dusted right. This is gonna hurt. And again, still more blitz action. Okay. My way. I've never seen so much tech ones in my entire life, but it's scramble, working, so you know, God bless them both. It's working for me. I need to get it to the ground here. Okay. I like to run under all the close a little too early. He's out of rifle stance in time, which is pretty good. He's being careful here. Okay, see? I threw an item at full screen. Not great. I could have stayed in rifle stance and wrecked my day. I'm gonna get my videos real quick. I'm gonna throw an item. She got an item. She hits me. I attack. And so once he gets those out of stance. And I'm not sure why he did that. Um, he could have chipped at my life for a little while at least. I didn't have any meter. I couldn't do anything. Um, I had, yeah, I didn't even have any meter. And you just, yeah, you just never burst 2k. Okay. You don't want Almost never want to burst. Yeah. It's multi hit. All the hits are jumping. Another round so dangerous. Yeah, danger time again. Oh, I let it rock Another again. Another round so dangerous time. Come I think on, guys. Don't I mean, do that. I remember the last time. Oh, no. Is this let intentional? It, let like, it rock. Is this, they're cheating. 
Safest thing to do. Okay, mini trying to get out. Okay, is probably not too bad on it. I was trying to catch uh semi heavy slash. I'm stuck here. Boop. Gold burst comes here. I saw that he was close to me. Um, if he had hit me with a, the thing is, if he had hit me with standing heavy instead of throwing, you potentially could have punished me because the way that works, it's like there's more hit stop because of the projectile. Um, I recover later than normal, while frame advantage wise, um, and he, uh, Elf Elf doesn't have um, hit stop from that projectile hit. Um, so it could have been bad, but he went for the command throw. So I kind of hedged my bets on this. Hey, full screen thing again. Um, Mini Matt decided to run at me. He could have backed up and went to rifle stance, which is pretty effective. Lucky combo. Was the perfect spacing. Uh, so, so he went into rifle stance here. Um, in this case, we both land at the same oh. time. This gave me. This gave me. An, the thing is, if you go to the rifle stance at this point, yes, I'm throwing the item. Um, but I immediately start running and super jumping, and because I super jump, he couldn't get the uh, target at my height. And this situation happened earlier too. I dropped the bomb bag. It was killed by the target, the radical. Um, and I was able to be, I was at a distance where I could punish the next rifle stance. No. I took the really match here. Oh, that's match, so I take the round. So there, this time I get off Pogo, and because yeah, I mean, I think he's generally the uh, characters will tech forward at Faust after Pogo or going my way. Um, the thing is, if you tech at the earliest point, you will not be invulnerable by the time Faust uh, becomes active on his anti airs. So, yeah, you can tech forward and press a button, but you won't be invul. Your invulnerability will run out. Um, in general, it's not always the case. If I'm closer to the like corner, it doesn't work as well. So close, but you can't push mm. yeah. yeah, I mean, I think yeah. he's doing that. That was sick. That was a sick hop. This is the last uh, match. So, the last uh, so, I'm right now. Be able to take the match in. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. I feel like the match is always so close, but you just can't push it out. Yeah, I mean, I think he's doing So, um. So, once I get a neutral here, you'll see. Um, so that's eight frames. So he's out of involved right now. I haven't recovered yet, but um, see, I it doesn't matter. He's he's out of involved frames at this point because he teched as early as he could. So I was able to do anti here. Um, I didn't have a lot of frame advantage, but it didn't matter again because he teched early. Yeah, um, I did far slash pull because generally I do on a block because I want to push him away. I don't know where I can but as I mentioned earlier, I give out give out some advantage by doing that. And in this case, he was holding a bomb and he did something. He or he was holding a grenade and he did something which set him off, which I wasn't prepared for, and this ended up <laughs> end up comboing because that counter hit state is very long. Good left dance that was a, right that there. Was a good sacrifice. Right now, mini mat, no meter left. He's got to do something crazy. Oh. And does heavy, which is low. Uh, Any cross move avoids it. So, yeah. That's, That's that match. Um, I might do. 
my I, do do I review my Nokia match next? Um, let's see. Still some people in here. So if you're not exhausted my by my very detailed explanation, um, I will continue and just need like three minutes. I need to grab something. More water actually. I'm back. So I have to get this little bitey because I didn't eat all evening. No problem, any man. I'll do it anytime. Are you asking me, Mr. Annual? Or are you asking me, Matt? And what do you mean, like, the overall takeaways for, if so, like, for Faust or for Elf Elf? Um, the most thing to me, and I've done this for a while, is giving up offensive advantage in situations um, by doing things like far slash pull, because that um, generally is, it catches people doing a lot of stuff. But again. I'm not able to move forward after doing that so much. I, I, I create distance for myself, which is like old, old Faust and old games. That would be great because uh, he had less risky items that really allowed you to move forward again. 
and far slash let you do like you could gatling into 2k and 2p and i still kind of have that like muscle memory i'm still working on avoiding um so if i put myself in a situation where i'm doing like far slash list that'll help Like maybe move forward a little bit, and and it's like block and wait and see what happens. And of course, that's matchup dependent. At far slash range, you generally can't just run at them and do any close normal rolls without them reacting with a button. But if you do like preemptive, if you move a little farther forward and do like preemptive two P or two S. I can stop that. And of course, jump to K is super scary. And it's just generally like burning up options there. Yeah, yeah. Well, there are players who like to, you know, they don't want to do anything. They just want to wait for you to like do something that lets them have, they can start their game, right? They want to wait for their turn. And if I give them a turn early, instead of that, if I give them a turn where they're not actually, it's not really their turn, where we're both at neutral, it actually puts them at higher risk, right? Um, and I need to do that more. Again, instead of doing pull, I do other things. Let's get beautiful do mat for now. Go on a knock the L. I did so many things wrong in the beautiful do match. I'm not <laughs> thrilled about, but yeah. Also, in general, I want to stay on the ground more. And I'm pretty excited to see how Nakiel tries to approach this matchup. It's a pretty traditional matchup, but one where Soul does need to kind of be creative about how to get in. Oh yeah, before I start this, I'm going to point out, Nakiel's another player who's just kind of waiting to see when their turn is. In this case, it's kind of particular where um, he'll, he'll take a very extreme option of uh, maybe doing like a riot stomp. Grand Viper, Ground Viper, uh, Volcanic Viper, anything with some kind of high low or full body involved that either gets a knockdown so he can actually start his game plan or just general high damage. Like he is waiting for yeah, I'm and just going to here. Item, I ended up getting caught by gun flames. Right Again, I mentioned before I was doing a lot of pulls. I ended up getting caught by gun flames quite a bit. See, in this case, like, it was, he, he believed it was, it was his yeah, turn. Right here, item throw. And 2H item throw doesn't put me at any kind of real frame advantage, right? right? And yeah, there, and I'm actually pretty item negative here. Right here but I decided to poke anyway. Um, generally in neutral, I can do uh, 5p, 2p to stop Fafnir, but I wasn't in neutral here. Of course that bad item and then have, have it right kind of bit me in the ass. Sweep uh, probably wouldn't have worked either. Yeah, 2p is my fastest, really my fastest option here. Yeah, and of course that bad Actually, 2p is 7 frames, I thought. The 2p is 7, 5p is 6. Um... Either way, I probably should get this block. This is the thing too, where like I did far slash, or not far slash, I did two, two like, down heavy yeah, slash. Yeah, I could have, I threw him on the other side of the screen, I could have pressed an advantage, but instead, instead of I did pull here, which worked because he back crashed, but yeah, not great. And a two heavy item, bet on getting something good. Poison is actually not great anymore. Because even though he did something in reaction, and he got hit by it, 
I was in hit stun, so it didn't mean anything ultimately. It, he he couldn't start a combo I guess here, but he did get knocked down. Not a friend advantage to 2H here. Just something to note. Yeah, this gold burst is probably out there. Phil Murray. He's caught by Lenny Lowe. Set play is happening. I don't know what he's doing there. Maybe he's trying to bait a burst, but I didn't have a burst. That's just weird. <laughs> Give me one opportunity to get out. So I'll be able to get myself out. I don't like that because... I was going to do 2H again. Item. Look at this. So he's in the air. I'm going to throw an item. I think I'm talking about here. I could have just anti-aired him here after this. Like, but I decided to throw an item. This awareness of the situation wasn't great at the time. If I backdash, he follows me. If I just stood there instead of backdashing, I could have hit him. I don't like that because of, uh, we both took the good like action at the same time. Now, I wasn't in the range where I could react to the main action. Like at least I could have pressed the advantage, right? Full work out from there, so it works out sometimes. But right there, it didn't. <laughs> Especially against Gunflame, that is a always a bad situation. So can you completely lose oh, oh, and control this game there? I think it's OP. Again, I'm just trying to stop him from moving forward using this pull, but it doesn't result in much. So this is pretty good here, actually. Um, I was able to anti air on reaction because he just started running me at full screen. If he was closer and did that, I wouldn't be able to react. So this is something just to be aware of. Like when, at what distance can you react to their uh, air dash, and what distance can you not? If you're doing mid screen, you can't full screen. Or anything lo longer than mid screen, you can. Uh, yeah. Oh no! Oh, this is all kinds of bad here. <laughs> and he decides to riot stomp. I'm trying to figure out oh, why. This is all kinds of bad here. I'm, yeah, it's, I don't really understand that decision. Oh no! Oh, this is all kinds of bad here. I don't know if it's because he saw my item throw. Maybe that's why he did it. He thought he could just punish it. Oh, this is all kinds of bad here. <laughs> so I just happened to run into try to anti him, but again, I waited too long. And super. And he, he, he yeah, oh, no. just oh. on super. <laughs> that doesn't matter. True mark of he does something weird here. Okay. True mark of a top player. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, he beats okay, so now really going a lot more wild here now, just trying to end this. He's got a lot of yeah. resources here. Zynak kind of in trouble in the corner. Oh, wow, no anti-air. Oh. Yeah. This, I did this before. This jump 2K. Anti-air. Going my oh. way, going my way. Super jump 2K, going my way. It's not great. Oh, wow, no See, I had no meter. I couldn't Y or C to jump 2k or the going my way like before, yet I committed to it. Just these kind of general, um, being aware of your meter, something I wasn't talking about earlier, but it's important because um, I went for the same option that I used before, jump 2k, Y or C, going my way, Y or C, but in this case, I had no meter, so I committed to something with a kind of a Hail Mary attitude, and he Y or C'd, and I could do nothing about it. That was just me being very readable. One more hit. Even if I thrown threw an item, he probably could have blitzed and hit me. Uh -oh. Yeah, if I end the sweep like that, probably jump canceling and backdashing is better. Yeah. Nice blitz. One more hit here, probably for Nakiol. There 
his good pressure towards the end there. Yeah, it's that, that point that way. Right towards the oh, end. Yeah. oh, wow. Okay, oh, wow. Yeah. Oh, wow. Really that long. So I oh, go for Hail Mary starter. Often if Souls try to do... A lot of their options will just get beat by 6 Heavy. It's not great, but he went for a 6 Heavy. And just got wrecked. <laughs> oh, wow. A lot of souls who go for damage initially um, will do six heavy and wake up. They'll do a delayed six heavy because it will can't, can't it'll usually like catch the second button press after the wake the start gambit. So like Faust does like two p far slash um, and two p uh, it will catch the far slash right. And you'll get full quarter carry damage. I, I delayed here. I don't know why. I, exactly what wants to do here. I guess I wanted to throw him off. Maybe, maybe thinks thought he would do a DP. Uh, so I then did two H delayed, but he did riot stomp. Luckily, I wired the OS stick, so I saved. Even with the punish, I got my combo with the wall stick. Let's see, yeah, because generally like five K counter hit gives you enough time to. Uh, um, to react on counter hit, but it says it wall st stuck. I guess I, well, okay, this is what happened actually. Uh, it wall stuck, I jump canceled the 5k hit, which is normally what you do on normal hit, but in this case it was counter hit, so it caused wall, wall bounce and screwed up all the hit stuff, so I just kind of waited. And then this happened. <laughs> I had so many danger times during this tournament, it's crazy. I think I had danger time in nearly every match. I can't wow, meteors. I should have just went. I was trying to go for air throw here. Yeah, he did this again. He just did two pieces wow, and he was going to poke. So let's go. I went to anti air here, actually. But it. He. It, it whiffed. Like. So I don't know if this was a OS. On Nakiel's part, but yeah, I went to anti air him here, and because two H whiffed, he got the DP coming out of recovery. So that's something I was aware of. Uh, maybe it's a pretty good option, <laughs> but it's something he committed to definitely. I don't know if he committed to it after seeing me um, using anti air, because I mean, what's what is the risk to him? He gets hit on recovery of jump heavy. And then nothing happens, right? But he didn't get hit. He, he and he got a DP. I, I guess both are I'm not me, so uh, that just makes like anti-airing jump heavy at that range wow, even more risky. So at that range, generally, yeah, 5K would have been a better option. 5K would be a much better option because it would have preemptively caught him. I was trying to react instead of just being preemptive. I, yeah. I guess both are very scared of the danger side. Neither person really wanted to go in there. Again, uh, trying to push him away. I got caught by the gun. Very scared of the danger side. Neither person really wanted to go in there. I saw the donut. I want to push him away. But these gun flames. There's no reason for you to go there. So good for Nakiel. Throughout the set so far. Good anti air. Now got him in the corner. Could have pressed the advantage. Another point where I failed to do so. Um. I was a little scared that he was going to be able to tech an air dash out. That's one reason why I backed up, but I kept backing up when I couldn't move forward. Another set of meteors. Yes, a great RNG here from Zynac gets the hit. Yeah, that was a great combo to go into the... Uh... Did you see how much that scaled? That's crazy. What the heck? <laughs> Surprise, it's still a combo. Great RNG here from Zynac gets the hit. Yeah, that was a great combo Maybe to go no into damage. the uh, dive kick in order to get the meteors to combo properly. Wow! Another, like, super jump K for me. Jump 2K for me. Great RNG here from I don't think the super jump. jumping seeing him YRC and I was trying to catch his dive. So my plan was to just dive and going my way, but he would have been able to recover and punish. So wow. I got lucky because <laughs> I caught his landing recovery. I think he thought that drill was going to cross through. Oh, maybe. Just don't do that. <laughs> probably, in this case, I probably should have done. So good for that kill. I super jump saw this. 
I should have uh, probably backed off. Wow! I think he thought that drill was gonna cross through. Oh, maybe. It's a great drill from Zynag. Really swinging back to his favor here. Okay. Yeah, I tried to punish the recovery again. Yeah, I got too little too happy after <laughs> punishing the last one. Nice fly pick. Calls out that delayed uh, drill cancel. Oh, with the 16. Big damage. Has not really shown that yet, so great place to bring it out okay, here. Really happens. Like, take this round. Super strong. I think we're FDM out and get it. Went for something that I whiff punish. I'm oh, sorry. Okay. Punch the so recovery. Like flash the guard bar though. No. Lots of damage. There's the first. He takes it. So I actually like this more than the similar situations. Really oh, swing back. It has not really shown that round. Super strong. This is for it again, if I get it. So I get in here and I put myself as a space. Instead of like doing pull or anything, I put myself at this distance where I can do far I can do heavy too heavy and catch him out of anything he's poking or far slash. And move forward. Okay, so of course the whole this. Pogo, eh. Whatever. Throw like item. Flash. So I run forward to two P to check him. Um this is I I forgot like there's a phrase for this kind of thing. Where you like you do an action to immediately try to get them to react, and you do something else to catch them out of the um, um, their reaction. Well, the move they try to react with, right? That's some, something Machibo wrote about. It's a very important part of virtual play. Um, so I use that a lot. Run two P two H. So I'm not actually reacting to them. I'm just doing an action, then a follow up action. In case they could react. Like flash and guard bar though. No. Lots of damage. There's the first, he takes it. Great bait from Zynax. Okay. Oh, that's fun. That's fun. That's fun. All right, Zynax. With the gold burst here, but he wants to try. Um, and just to clarify, like, doing FD break is a way for you to kind of do that. You can do that. Um, uh, and. Do something follow up, but you also can use like FD break as a way to like see if they do something reactable, right? So you can run FD break. If they do something that's punishable and recovery, great, that happens. Um, but you can also do like run FD break normal. And if they try to react to you to anything happening on the screen, uh, seeing that FD flash is kind of a big indicator, so they might try to poke you to uh, get some kind of uh, combo string started, but. Because of Faust's range, he often has advantage. You can FD break and like far slash or two H or something, and it'll cut, it'll catch a lot of people, um, who who are trying to like just react to you doing stuff. Keep his momentum. And he's gonna use a super. That's a lot of bombs. Oh, he got hit by two. Yeah, unfortunately, I think it was OTG. So I tried to jump two K for some reason. Not too much damage. I think I want a little more from that. You don't want to hear it. Now he's pouring. Gets a great drill. Great air throw him. So far slash pull again stop. Right now. One hit forward, so to keep moving back. That's such a rough spot when you're trying to play against Faust. Definitely. I'm gonna put this out right here. Now. So since he's doing far slashes, I think knocking on the future made a hit on me in the next match. Far slash pull. Five P far. So five P far slash is another one of the situations where I try to do something that's reactable or something they think you can react to. Or just react in general, right? 5P. Far slash. Well, in this case, actually, it was far slash, far slash. So I don't know what he was trying to do there, but it and definitely there it wasn't. Um, That's such a rough spot when he wasn't able to react in time to do anything. Yeah, if he was trying to get to my far slash, he was way too late. So I think next time he tries to react with Grand Viper, it works pretty well. Like the Rancher item. You get the break the down on DP. Very basic stuff. Far slash Pogo, because uh, meteors were coming, so I thought it would be pretty safe for me to get off of it. I did it. Something Pogo again. Block on the there. Using up my meter, so I was not really pressing the advantage. I could have 
a lot more options moving forward. But actually, I was pretty scared that he would do another involve move <laughs> when I was in phase on so. so again, like, ugh, I have to point this out, like, I had advantage here, but I backed off. Do FD break for uh, heavy slash, TP, I, uh, meteors. I did far slash here, which is fine. Generally, but then I do it again. And knowing the like what Nakia likes to do, I probably just been more careful because meteors is coming, and I had the advantage. He was in the air actually. And so he just jumps right back into it. And he ends up catching me. It's a very similar situation to before, except I did have, have items. So do far slash. Far slash. Run up far slash. Yeah. So he had enough time to just commit something early. I just delayed too much, to be honest. Yeah, it's just a weird situation. Oh, I can't really get a follow up. So I have him in the corner now. And again, I went for far slash option. Using too much. Sparring lead is great, but just too much. So I could have uh, Yeah, I just caught him here. That versus the I do not want. I want to do like far slash, sorry, jumping slash, you know, jump P. But it, you know, it just didn't work. <laughs> not lucky really. Yeah. Lucky throw. There we go. Delayed jump, jump back. Delayed jump K will catch a lot of things. In this case, it caught delayed. Uh, Opening gambit from Sol, who was trying to do a six heavy. Four slash, four slash. This is why he ends up catching me because I do so many four slashes. So two p, five p pull. He's trying to bait out an action from him. He didn't take it. He's just waiting for something. He can, he can uh, use, uh, use now. Pull. Look at this. I get caught by that. Threw an item and did jump 2k against Gunflame. I don't know what I was thinking. And I had the advantage here and I backed up. I don't know what I was doing. I had to use meter in case he air dashed at me. And when I had poison there, instead of doing this, because he's not going to do anything with the poison here, it takes up all this space, you know? I should have moved forward. And then it just compot, you know, it builds up on itself where it's like, okay, I'm even less from advantage here. And he controls all this space here now. It's a gunflame. And I jumped and realized the gunflame was coming. And I was like, okay, I get, gotta get to the ground. But it was just too late. So I just had to keep, keep blocking it. Good thing shot from Nakio. He's taking a lot of damage from me from this. Like, look at this. Look at this damage. It makes me, makes me angry. <laughs> this basic frame trap, two D frame trap, right? I see you guys do because it, because of the, uh, um, FDing. I think it made it um, a true frame trap. If it wasn't already. Yeah, 2p is plus 4. <laughs> Pressing buttons after 2p is just not very smart. And you get death button, which is like the optimal point of two, right? So yeah, if you, F <laughs> if you have 2p, if you block 2p, just don't do anything. Less and less. Yeah, you got a great counter hit. A lot of damage. A lot of combo. Yeah, yeah. The match was way command. in his favor at that point. Just because of that one situation. Because I got over here. Like, yeah, 
I gave up advantage by going for the pull. Results in me getting a really crappy situation. Train trap. The whole thing led to this, right? It's important to understand. Like one thing leads to another. And those decisions, those critical decisions, where we're basically even for a while, right? And actually, I was at the damage here. I could have, you know, pressed them, but instead I decided to like, I don't know, try to play a really crappy zoning game. And I fuck up. And the club, uh, ended up getting in a thing trap. I made the corner. I mean, there are opportunities for me to escape, potentially, but you can't rely on opportunities to escape. You have to use your advantage when you have it, and which I didn't do. I just got lucky there, and did it out. out. And, uh, this might be a good so I had advantage again. Well, I didn't have advantage life bar-wise, but I did have uh, spacing, space control advantage. Not tension. He had more tension than me, the, the but... I think generally this is pretty good situation still. And, have oil uh, there, you can't do a gun play. I think he went for Grand Viper because maybe he thought it would do far slash, but he wasn't paying attention to the oil. So it was one of those things again. Maybe he thought he would be able to go under far slash. He asked me to mind 5p because generally I do like far, 5p far slash. And, uh, I just did 5p 5p. Uh, debate on any kind of action. And he went for Gun Flame. Oh, sorry, he went for Grand Vi Ground Viper. Not expected, but... I don't know what I'm doing here. Why am I pressing 5k? <laughs> and what am I doing here too? Like... Oh, I was trying to... Okay, I was trying to OTG him. It's just too late. So generally, like, yeah, if you can really press him like this, you can do 5k to knock him away and then start the gunplay. But he went in Gunflame through. I was trying to react to his Gunflame, right? You can't really react to it, you just have to commit. But also, he did. Close Slash, which I think is pretty good. High. Yeah, it's a level 2. Um, and I FD'd it. Wait, actually, it's not level 2. What is it? It's level 2. Okay, it is level 2. Um. I don't know what Gunflame star. I don't know when Gunflame star is, but so probably not safe to poke after that team. I might have been fine if I didn't have to get it. I'll have to attack that later. Yeah, this this happens. Oh, I do like far slash how many times here? I think he's gonna jump, or poke or something. He never does. Like knowing how he was playing before, he was waiting. Oh! And reacting to things like 5 2 or quick moves. Get it? I should have known better. But I go for a third one. <laughs> go for a third one. Like, that's just too many times. He, he knew at this point he could go under this. Now, he went under it before when there was oil on the ground, but he still knew he could go under this. That might be critical there. I could have burst here, potentially have killed him. Well, no, I couldn't have killed him. Um, Better detect. Oh, yeah, that happened. I'm just, just goes to show, like, if you play a player who uh, likes to make hard reads, don't give them some advantage. Don't do the work for them by doing something too often. Like it though, you, know, you, you give them the opportunity to make a hard read, a high risk but high reward thing, because um, they know the chance of that thing coming out is pretty high.